Praise the Lord, saints. I come to you today in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I come with a word of encouragement that's been in my spirit for the last couple of weeks. I come as the world is facing so many trials and tribulations, devastations all around us. Uh, some of the saints of God, the body of Christ has been going through in losses of employment and houses, property, family members, uh, receiving bad reports um, from physicians, just going through the test and trials, tribulations that goes along with living in this world. But thank God that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. And the word that's been in my spirit uh, has to do with the obstacles that we face on this journey. As we walk with Christ Jesus, he didn't promise us a carefree life, but he did tell us that we would have tribulation in this world and we could be of good cheer for he overcame the world. And so as we look at those obstacles on today, I encourage you to look at each and every one of them as an opportunity, an opportunity to see God's goodness and his faithfulness, an opportunity to work his principles, apply his word to your situation and circumstances and watch the word of God work miracles in our lives that we gain victory, even in the most difficult times that we receive healing and deliverance at the most difficult times that our uh, provision is is there for us, even when the world is going through difficult times. God is a provider, a way maker, a burden lifter, and a caretaker. And many of the obstacles that the body of Christ is facing right now, God has allowed them to strengthen the body of Christ. Each one of us individually, we have to start with ourselves. And as we look at the word of God, we see over and over again where the men and women of God faced obstacles in their lives. And as these obstacles come about, when we find ourselves putting all of our trust in the Lord, when we find ourselves acknowledging him in all of our ways, he promises us that he will bring us through, that we're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And so as we look at these obstacles, as we face these opportunities day by day in this journey, I encourage you not to quit, not to give up and not to get weary in well-doing. We want to reap that reward, but that requires us to faint not. So we need to pray without ceasing. We need to stay in this word of God, meditating on it day and night, that we may be careful to do it, that we may be prosperous and successful. When we look at the word of God in Exodus chapter 13, verses 17 and 18, it says, and it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest peradventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea and the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. We see here that God could have led the children of Israel through the short way, but they weren't prepared for it. He said, unless they would see war and they would repent and return to Egypt, they would go backwards. And, and the father does not desire for us to go backwards. I thank God that he prepares us, that he prepares the way, that he strengthens us along the way that we may be able to endure. As we face obstacles in this journey, it's as though we're going through an obstacle course. Obstacle courses were designed to cause us to gain strength, to endure. And as we go through this journey, we face obstacles and they cause us to be strengthened, to learn how to endure, to learn how to get through, to get by, to not faint, to not give up, but to learn to make decisions, to be strengthened mentally and spiritually. And so we should be thanking God for the obstacles. We should be counting it all joy of the trials and tribulations that we face. God is strengthening us individually and collectively as the body of Christ. When we look in Deuteronomy chapter 8, we see where it says in verses 1 and 2, all the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee, to know 
know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And here we see once again that God led them through the wilderness. He led them through the long way to prove them, to see what was in their heart, if they would keep his commands. Many times as we face these obstacles in our lives, these are opportunities for us to be strengthened, to learn to endure, to gain patience, to get peace, to see God operating in our lives. But also it's to prove, to show where we're at. So we know where we're at when we're walking with God in our trials and tribulations is where we see where our faith is at. It's then that we see if we're really obedient, if we'll follow the commands of God because he strengthens us so that when we get to the promise, when the blessings begin to flow, when he puts us in our position, we won't faint and give up. Why? Because he's prepared us as we went through the obstacles, as we took those obstacles and worked them as opportunities to take his word and prove his word to be true in our lives. And as we go through the long way, as we see that everything that we desire doesn't necessarily come overnight, but it requires a working of the word. It requires us to go through some obstacles. It requires us to go through some tests, some trials and some tribulation so that we can be prepared, so we can be strengthened, so we can endure when we need to endure. And besides that, is to true to trust us in our faithfulness to God. Will you be faithful to him during the times of the obstacles, the trials and the tribulations, or will you quit and give up? Will you be faithful to God when everything isn't going your way and it's not going quick enough? Body of Christ, this is a time for us to grow up, to step up into position, to trust God to be God, to be faithful in the hard times, to be faithful in the good times, to be faithful as we're going through our wilderness times. God is still God. He does not change. Our situations and circumstances may appear to change, but God is still the God who brings us through, brings us, us over, and brings us out. And so we thank God today for the obstacles. Saints, as you go through the obstacles, even on today, be encouraged that God is doing a work in you. And he promised that he would continue the good work that he began in you until Christ Jesus. So God is doing a work in us, saints. We're being strengthened to endure doer. We are learning where we're at with God. We are growing in our faith and our commitment to our Lord and Savior that we may step up in position and be the men and women of God he purposed us to be. So on today, saints of God, I say be encouraged, be strengthened in the Lord. And Father, we just thank you today. We thank you for the word that you're speaking into the spirit of the saints today, that we should be encouraged, Lord God, that we count it all joy when we face diverse temptations and trials, knowing that it's the testing of our faith and the testing of our faith worketh patience. We let patience have her perfect work that we may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. God, we desire more of you today. So we ask that you would give us the strength, Lord God, that as we go through in these trials and these tribulations, as we face these obstacles in our lives, Father, we thank you that we have victory in the name of Jesus, that we walk your word out in these situations, that we trust in you with all of our heart and we lean not to our own understanding, that it's you who is directing our path, you who is ordering our steps, that we can claim the victory in the name of Jesus, that when we come out of the storm, when we come through the obstacles, when we have surpassed the test, the trials and the tribulations, we thank you that we will be better than when we went in. We thank you that we will be prepared for the position you have for us, the purpose you have for us, the mission that you have for us, the assignment that you're giving us individually and collectively. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you for being with us, ever conscious of us, always having us on your mind, watching us, molding us, shaping us, strengthening us, and causing us to be the men and women of God that you purpose us to be. We give you praise, glory, and honor today, oh God, for who you are, for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're about to do. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus that we come to you today, and we thank you. Amen.